everyone so today I am going to do a bit of a swatch and review video on these Chi Chi what are these even called I should probably check creamy matte liquid lipsticks so I'm gonna do all of the swatches first and then at the very end I will tell you my thoughts and I'll kind of give you a mini review on each color as I go now if you're wondering about my makeup at the moment this isn't a creamy matte lip cream by Chi Chi this is by Melt Cosmetics this entire makeup look I've already done so I'll link it down below if you want to go watch it and let's get started so my lips are kind of stained from previous lipsticks that you just saw me wearing there um but these are very very pigmented I'm gonna say at the beginning I actually love these so obviously <laughs> first of all I'm gonna do this one this one here it's called first class I'm not gonna do these in order because meh. and this is just a really bright orange think orange by Mac this is basically like that so that's what first class looks like you can see it still looks quite glossy and I would say that some of these don't actually dry to a super matte finish which I like because I don't always want a really really matte finish but if you want like full on matte like the Velveteens or like the Australis they are a little bit more creamy but I prefer them they're not drying at all they're super liquidy but very 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 moisturizing they're very 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 like pigmented very opaque like this is one coat so you don't need much at all I'm really impressed once they're on they last a really really good amount of time as well like they don't just come off straight away or anything next here I have a purple I'm so excited I haven't actually tried this one on yet I've been wanting to for ages this one here is called drama queen and I got this one more recently excuse me if my application isn't perfect I'm kind of like I've got a lot to go through right here so yeah no so that's that one there it almost looks a little bit similar to rebel by mac but maybe a little bit more purple and it doesn't make my teeth look yellow so that is a win from me next here we have flirt and this is kind of like a muted kind of pinkish deep nude not super deep but a little bit more deep than like a full-on like nude nude so that's what that color looks like I think this would look amazing on like medium skin tones or even on a fair person it's kind of like that Lana Del Rey kind of color next here is a Barbie light pink this one here is called socialite and that is what it looks like quite light on me on my skin tone at the moment but if you're into that really barbie pink light pink color it is so much fun and again even though it's really pale it is still opaque and you only need one coat but of course you can build it up if you want but i find they kind of wear the best when i only do like one layer because they don't kind of go chunky and gross if i eat something i would just take these with me like if i was going to be eating and drinking just so i could like take it off and touch up again um as i go throughout the night or day or whatever next this one's packaging broke a little bit but it's not a major because there's actually the casing underneath as well so you don't actually need the outside but I don't know like you can pull, pull it back in but it comes out again this one here is called calendar girl and it is a nude again a little bit more beige than that other one that's what that one there looks like it would be a really gorgeous nude on you if you have like a medium to deep skin tone I really like it even on my skin tone just for something different but it's not something I'd reach for all the time but like even with this look it looks quite cool but definitely if you have a darker skin tone or like an olive skin tone it'll look so good on you next here we have simply stunning and you've already seen this in one of my tutorials I used this when I went out for Valentine's Day with my boyfriend and it looked amazing I loved it it's like the perfect kind of like natural pink like I don't know it just doesn't look crazy it's just really pretty and if you want to be like the cute pretty girl like you know the cute pretty girl makeup look this is it this is the perfect lip color so that's what it looks like it's kind of like pinky peachy nude but not nude I don't know it's like my lips a bit better but more peachy and healthy and pretty so I love this especially paired with a dark lip liner it just makes your lips pop next here we have lady in red as you can guess it is a red it's a really really bright red this is like my favorite kind of red if I wear a red because it is quite orangey ish and very bright but it's definitely a red but it's got that kind of like 
orangey tint to it so it really works well with my yellow undertones. This next one here is called She's Not Me. I love the names for these, they're really good. And this one is kind of like a deep fuchsia, like pinkish, purplish colour. I can't really explain it. It's kind of like what Rebel would look like if it was a few shades lighter. Next here we have Manita. I love this colour. So that's what that one looks like. This is definitely one of my favourites. It's kind of like a really, really hot pink. Like a neon hot, dark hot pink. If that makes any sense at all. Definitely a must have from the collection. If you like pinks or bright colours, you need this one. Next here we have Wild Child. It's a deeper kind of nude colour. This isn't one that I would personally wear very often, it's not my kind of colour, but again, if you have like medium dark skin, I was going to say dark hair, dark skin tones, again, a really nice colour, it would be a really nice kind of like nudish colour. It's got like just the right amount of pink in it so that it's not too brown, like it's like a pinky brown, if that makes sense, I don't know. I, I bet you all laugh at me like when I'm describing colour because I like say a million different colours in one, it's like, can I please have a pinky bluish, yellowish green? You know, I don't know. And then here we have Crazy in Love, which is kind of like a pink, like a muted pink. That's what that one there looks like. It's really pretty. If you like light pinks, this is really nice because it's kind of, it's not bright at all. Like it's a really muted, toned down pink. So really wearable for like the office or for school or for work, like where you don't want to look too out there. It's really, really nice. And then here we have Viva La Diva, which is another red, but this one is more of a darker red. It's not real dark, but it's a bit darker. This color here reminds me of like a ladybug, like that kind of red color. Really, really, really nice. Like, ah! dropping them. It's really, really nice. Like I'm definitely starting to get more into dark colors and reds and purples and things. And this is something I would wear more in the night time because it is a little bit more muted and not as bright. I would prefer a bright red during the day. And then the very last one here is a bright kind of purplish pink. Think like Snob by MAC. And it is called Va 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 Boom. <laughs> not Va Va Boom. Va 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 Boom. Va Va Va. Okay, this is going to sound really weird, but this colour is exactly like if you mixed Saint Germain and Snob together. Because it's kind of like that bright Saint Germain, but it's a little bit more toned down and a slight bit more purplish. I really like this colour. It's almost coming off a little bit more bright on camera, but it's a little bit more toned down and a bit more purple. It's definitely still bright, but not as bright as Saint Germain. If you like Saint Germain, but you want something a little bit more wearable, this will be your best friend. And that is all of them. I honestly really do love these. You get heaps of product in here for your money. It's Chi Chi. It's an affordable brand in New Zealand, at least in Australia. And you can often find these at farmers for like um, buy one get one half price or buy two get one free and deals like that. I really personally can't really fault the formula. I find it really lovely. But if you like super matte lips, then these aren't super duper matte. They're slightly matte. Like they do continue to dry to a matte kind of colour but I don't find them to be as matte and drying looking as like the Velveteens and the Australis Velour Lips or anything. Like they do still have a little bit more of a moisturizing look to them. So it does depend what you're looking for, but I really like this formula because I don't like super dry looking lips or anything. I think the color selection is phenomenal because, you know, a lot of drugstore brands like kind of, a lot of the shades are really off and just nothing that people really like, you know? There'll be a couple of good shades within a line and then the rest are kind of like, eh. But honestly, like, I would say like 90% of the shades in this range I do love. It's just some of the ones that are kind of more suited to darker skin tones. Obviously, I can't pull off as well because I'm pale. So yeah, that's my thoughts on them. Have any of you tried these? And if so, what do you think? I'll put the Chi Chi website down below. I'm unsure if they ship internationally or not, but you can go check it out. Have a look and see. Let me know what you want to see swatched next. I am going to be doing my melt lipsticks once I have the full collection. Um, I have other Chi Chi lipsticks I need to do a swatch video. And I need to do the rest of my Lime Crime swatches as well. I've got heaps of swatch videos coming up. But let me know what you want to see first. Have an amazing day and I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Lip. I don't know how it's going to look but I'm just going to play. Okay, so I'm going to start with Pure Decoration by MAC. Which is just like a nude. 
And then I'm going to take Sagun Summer, which is a orange. 